Hey guys, so just before the video got started, I wanted to include this sort of over the video of me giving away the money from the last giveaway at New Year's. I just wanted to say thank you guys for the support on the giveaways that I've been doing. Uh, and don't worry, there's another one coming. I believe I'll probably do it for Valentine's Day, you know, share the love with you guys. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for the support and let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Thank you guys. What is up guys? Hello and welcome. So today we are actually going to be covering technically two different jobs. Uh, we are back in the quarry to talk about quarry worker uh, and we are going to be talking about uh, farming or being a farmer after that. And the reason why I'm including quarry worker in with farming is because it is probably the best or one of the best XPs, especially getting started uh, for leveling up your farming as well as mining uh quarry worker is actually really good for pretty much all around uh levels for mining and farming and you get trucking xp as well but there are technically better ways of doing trucking so so to start with uh if you are a below level 50 mining uh you will not be able to use the excavator uh so unless someone that is above level 50 mining is at the quarry in an excavator you won't be able to do quarry worker uh you can only drive uh the mule which is the tipper uh this is the only thing that you can drive until you get to level 50 then you unlock this right here uh, the excavator which is what allows you to actually dig now let's see if i can get past my car here probably doing this the, the worst way possible but go make it work here we go now I'm going to go get my tipper. Now typically you would be doing this with other people. Uh, it's not very effective if you're doing it on your own. Uh, but if you are say on the OS server and there's like five people doing it, you can actually make some decent XP off of that. Um, especially if you're the one in the excavator and you have like maybe three people uh, doing trucking for you uh, you can make some pretty decent XP off of that uh, and even as a trucker you make pretty decent XP now if you are on keyboard you will press six to move it out eight to move it down four to move in and then five and six so on your numpad, I don't know how to do it without a numpad, so sorry for those of you who don't. Uh, eight and five are up and down, four is in and six is out. And if you are on a controller, uh, it is the left stick up and down for up and down, right is out, left is in. And if you're on a controller, you can sort of just do like a, a circular motion with your left joystick and it will work okay there we go the truck is full and now that it is full uh, if you are in the truck what you would do is you will be in the truck you'll see that I have a waypoint on my mini map to one of the drop-off locations and there are two of them uh, this is just one of them And uh, these uh, fences were put up so that you couldn't cut. Uh, so you can't go down that or up that spot anymore if you haven't been here and haven't noticed. Uh, the first drop off is that right there. I'll probably put a circle around it or something so you can see where I'm talking about. Uh, and then the other location is where we are going. Which is right here. So just back up to the drop off, then uh, lift your trailer, which is six and four on uh, keyboard and right on and left on the left joystick if you're on controller. And you cannot drive whenever your bed is like lifted and lowered. 
are lifted so you have to lower it before you can drive again and to enable controls uh, or like toggle the controls so like as you see right now it isn't going up and down but now it is whenever i'm doing it uh, just hit the left bumper on controller and it will lock the controls for you and yeah that is actually everything for uh, quarry worker that's pretty much all you need to know uh once you get to level 100 if i can get up here uh, there is actually another truck that you unlock uh, once you get to level 100 and it is up here up top Oh, and I should probably mention uh, the the amount that you saw. The I believe it's yeah seventy five thousand. If you are doing only trucking or only excavator, you will get half of that. Uh, basically, because the work was split in half, you'll only get uh, what is it thirty seven thousand five hundred uh, instead of the seventy five thousand. So uh, you'll get the same amount of XP, but you will get half the amount of money. Uh, so once you get to level 100, you'll unlock this right here, which is basically just a bigger tipper. It has a higher capacity than this, so you get more XP and more money from that. So, And yeah, that is actually everything for Quarry Worker. So I will be right back to show you guys how you can get started with normal farming uh, and just show you kind of the basics of whenever you get started. So I'll be right back. So in order to become a farmer, you actually have to buy a tractor. Uh, so you can buy this from any of the uh, normal car dealerships. Uh, it'll be under the job area and farming. And then you will see it'll be the field master. Uh, that is the only thing that you need to buy to get started. And as you can see, I have my uh, beautiful pink tractor here. And uh, just a heads up, it is uh, quite slow. So just be aware of that. I believe it tops out at like 36 or something like that. 34, yeah, 34. So it's not very fast. So then once you have your tractor, the first thing that you need to do in order to do uh, any farming is come over here to the O'Neill's farm uh, it'll be this little tractor icon on the map in grapeseed uh, right here That's a tractor icon you can actually go uh, to this one up here as well in Polito Bay uh, there's two of them uh, so either in Polito Bay or here in uh, grapeseed and the And the first thing that you need to do is walk over here into this blue circle and press E to start your work as a farmer. Uh, then you will see that you have a lot more stuff on your map, uh, a lot more showing of your fields and stuff. Now, I believe that most of these you will actually already own off the bat. I think this one uh, is the one that you need to be going to, correct? Yes. Uh, so this one right here is the one that we are going to be using. Uh, it's basically just northwest of where you're starting. Uh, so what you need to do this is a harvester and a tipper trailer. Uh, now both of these you can spawn over here at these blue circles. Now I believe this one, nope that's the bale trailer. Here we go. Hopper, uh, that's what it's called. Uh, so just, if you are in your tractor, just press E and it'll automatically attach the hopper to your tractor. And then now we will just drive it over to the field that we are gonna be working on. So now that you see that we are in the field, you'll see that it is a, uh, it'll have the name of the field uh, down at the bottom left. It'll be the name of the field, the field type, and whenever you're getting started, you're gonna wanna have grain. Uh, it'll be G to raise and lower the tool that you're using or the equipment that you're using. And then B will dump your inventory, which will basically just 
put it onto the ground where you can pick it up uh, with something else. Uh, now, in order to actually harvest, we need a harvester. So I'm going to go back over here and grab uh, the harvester from the same place that we got the tipper trailer from. And so this spot right here, which is to spawn a harvester, uh, just press E while you're in it and you will spawn in your harvester. Uh, and once again, just be aware this thing is slow. Most of the farm stuff is until you get to level, I believe it's 40 and you can use the uh, actual grain truck. Uh, that makes it a lot faster. Or at least uh, you don't have to drive the tractor. That's really slow. Uh, but most of the actual like driving from like one point to another will be with the tractor and not uh, with this harvester. And yeah, just be aware that uh, it is a, a wide boy, so uh, you may run into stuff. So through here, and now that we are in the field, just press G to lower, and you'll see at the bottom that uh, the grain is filling up and all you have to do is just drive in circles uh, and you will gain levels and just be aware that uh, if you are at this field these little pipes that are for the irrigation uh, you can run into them uh, and they will like stop you and it'll actually damage your harvester so just keep that in mind be careful um, try not to hit them but it's there's not really a way to avoid them um, okay, so there you go. As you see, I just hit 20,000 and it dropped it. I'm actually going to delete this vehicle. I took a screenshot. Whoops. And so all you do after that is hop into your tractor. Now, this trailer can actually hold 40,000, so it can hold two of these spots. So basically what you want to try and do is just drive around, get a ton of spots on the ground. I believe there isn't actually a limit, but once you get too much, the game will actually start getting laggy. So don't have like a thousand spots, but you can have a decent amount of spots. Just drive over it. It'll pick it up. And as you see, 20,000 out of 40,000. So this could hold two, uh, like two harvesters full. And drive over here. You see those... Uh, basically uh, grain silos over here just drive over here and if you are like looking on the map for what it is it is this little uh, dollar sign uh, and if you are up here it is yeah this one right here uh, this is what you will do go to that and I found that the best way to go in here is either go like in the way I'm going and like, or don't go in this way. Not this way. Ignore that. Uh, the best way to get in here is to either go loop this way around, or you basically loop the opposite of what I'm doing. Uh, so you come in from the road up here and go out the way I came in, or vice versa go in this way and go out on that road and as you see uh ten thousand dollars for twenty thousand grain and three and a half xp uh so it is pretty slow uh farming is a pretty slow skill which is why i recommend doing quarry worker if you are able to do it uh it'll make it much faster um so then once you unlock grass you're going to want to do that but I would recommend doing the grass up in Polito. So go up here to this field right here. Uh, this is a grass field. Just basically get the lawn mower, which I believe this, yeah, right here, the grass mower. Spawn it right here, go drive in circles here, and you will need a bale trailer for that, which is right here. So basically just drive, spawn your bale trailer, pick up, your thing and then sell the bales here at the bell sell point uh, if you are going to be doing uh, bales after this um, but once again with the addition of quarry worker the beginning farming jobs more or less are obsolete just because you make so much more xp from quarry worker but not everyone always does quarry worker so you can't always 
uh, get a job doing it. Hey guys, so just sort of a note from the editor real quick. I have actually made a Google Doc that lays out every job that you need to do uh, and to like what level. Uh, I will have a link to that Google Doc in the description. If you are interested, uh, go ahead and check that out. Hopefully that is everything that I need to cover for this. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments section down below and I will answer them for you. Or if you have any topics that you want me to cover in future videos, leave those down there as well and I will be sure to get to them sooner rather than later. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.